Hello and welcome back to a brand new Aviation Jack video. I hope you're all doing super well. In today's video, I'll be showing you all how to get cabin announcements in the Phoenix Airbus A320. Have you guys wondered how on departure and pushback I've managed to get announcements like this? Welcome to our EasyJet Plus card holders. My name is Michelle and I am your cabin manager for today's flight. Also in the cabin with me are Dean, Moira and Kate. To fasten your seatbelt, push the metal end into the buckle until it clicks. Pull the loose end to adjust and unfasten by lifting the top of the buckle. Well, good news if you are wondering because that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you all in today's video. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So what you all need first is Discord. Now, I'll leave a link below in the description so you guys can all get to the right Discord server. The Discord server that you want is Cabin Announcements for Phoenix, the announcement hangar. What you want to do is come to this Discord server and then here in the top right where it has a search bar, simply just type in the airline that you want to get the announcements for. So I typed in EasyJet as the example, so you know, EasyJet Easy. And then as you can see, it's come up with the RAW file over here for the crew announcements. Once you click on download, that will go to your downloads folder, which is then we then need to put this into the Phoenix announcements folder for it to work. Right, as you can see here in my downloads folder is a file I just downloaded called the Easy Belfast Crew. What you want to do is extract that folder. And then inside, as you can see, it says Easy. Inside this Easy folder is all the announcements that you want for the aircraft. Now leave that where it is. And now I want you all to go to your MSFS community folder. Now we all know where our community folder is, we all know we have one, so it's all different places for everyone. I always get a comment asking me, where's mine? It's all different for anyone depending on where you got MSFS from, whether it's a store or Steam. The best place to ask is Google. If you want to know where your community folder is, or if you don't know at this stage, just ask Google depending on where you got it from. And it should give you different directories. Mine, however, is in data, local, packages mux of limitless and then local cash packages community that is where my community folder is located i'll leave the link to my description below and it might be the same for you if not then just try searching for it okay so in the folder of the community you want to create a folder called fnx announcements it has to look exactly like this that's three fnx capital letters and announcements with a capital a i'll leave this in the description below as well once you've created the Phoenix Announcements folder, go into this folder and then create another one called Announcements. And then once you go into the Announcements folder, you then have your iCal codes for the airlines. I've already got the easy one in there, obviously. But say if you wanted to install a Delta one, you do the DAL for Delta. And then you'd copy the folder over, literally like this, and then put it in. Obviously, I'm not going to replace the files because that's, that's I've already got it already. And that is essentially how it works. We can do a little example with another airline now. So as you can see, I just typed in speed of British Airways and then BAW and then quickly, quickly click download. And then by doing so, you then want to extract the BAW folder. Like that. As you can see, they've all just popped up. Just close that one down. And here it says BAW, simply just drag and drop it into the announcements folder, which we just created. And then Phoenix and the announcements will link up with each other. And then that will be that. Once you then head into the simulator and load up an EasyJet or a British Airways aircraft, you will then have all the announcements ready to rock and roll. Well, there we have it, everyone. I hope that video was helpful to you for installing the new Phoenix cabin sounds. And have a great rest of your day and let me know if it works for you. See you later in the next one. Bye-bye. And here is a special thank you to the members for the continued support on the channel.